my praises make any not because my praises mean anything great, make him great or make him greater but because it makes me understand his worthiness in my life the lessons that i have learned through our friday bible teachings and brother vivek's reflections and the praying in tongues have not only increased my love and faith but taught me how to choose god's way in faith instead of my own way god's way does not always show us as righteous to the world but humbles us before our god and that humbleness fills us with god's peace i have three recent miracles that i would like to share it's maybe a bit long but it's for the glory of god so today's miracle my optometrist was concerned as he felt that all my eye tests showed that i have glaucoma he said it's early stages but if i neglected it i would turn blind he had the same concern last year but i brushed it off so this year he insisted that i get the advice of a specialist as i could not go as it could go very bad quickly so before my appointment this morning i covered myself and all the equipment the person doing the test the specialist the reports with the precious blood of jesus and i asked god to take care of the situation and only because of my increased love and faith and trust in god as i mentioned before because of my involvement in this prayer group i also asked god to do with me as he willed i accepted whatever the outcome of the situation if it was his holy will because i know whatever the outcome god will see me through it but i do not I, but i told god i do not want to put any chemicals or have surgery on this perfect eye that he create eyes that he created for me so after the, i got i did a few tests quite a few tests and when the specialist gave me the results he said all your reports are clear yes. your eyes praise god all your eyes seem perfect you have no signs of glaucoma i started praising and thanking god in front of him i even said to him i prayed i prayed before coming and my god is so good to me so even after those uh, results the specialist knowing that my optometrist my optometrist is very thara man he did more tests on my eyes we took pictures of the optic nerve in case he could identify a reason my optometrist was uh, concerned he even did a pressure test another pressure test it's a second one a different time kind as glaucoma is due to high pressure in the eye but yeah. he could he found my pressure was low not anywhere close to high which would have been a concern to him so god's will is always perfect in our lives we only need to trust that his will is perfect and not our not what we we should cast for his will and not our heart's desires another miracle happened two days ago at work a, a student placement or placement student was scanning some client documents and one of the sheets of paper disappeared into the machine in the photocopier she and a colleague couldn't find the sheet of paper i happened to go to the machine to get my print out and came to know of the issue my colleague left her as she couldn't help her but i had a similar incident in my life many years ago i was photocopying the mass him sheets before mass and it got stuck and it was a much older machine and i could not find it so i knelt down and prayed to god to come to my help no one would have any hymns for that weekend masses but i couldn't if i couldn't find the sheet anyway after i prayed i got back again i started checking the machine again and i found a tiny corner of the paper stuck in the area completely covered and impossible to get out so i held on to that tiny piece of paper and praying the rosary i gently pulled it out and i am still today in awe of how the whole sheet of paper came out without a tear i could not i couldn't believe so anyway i managed to get the photocopy done just in time before mass so i knew god could help us even today in that day so i i shared the incident with this young girl and i said god will help us find that paper that is impossible for god so i kept checking the machine whatever parts i could 
at least 20 times we went to the same path because it was, it was showing an error message in that area. And then finally we found the piece of paper, but it was jammed in such a way that we couldn't see the middle part of the paper. So we tried everything. It was impossible to remove it without tearing. And I said, started praying. I said, God, show this young girl how you work miracles. Show her your power. Show her your strength. And this girl, young girl, tells me, if this paper doesn't come out soon, we will have to start praying. And I said, I've already started. It will come out soon. And at that very moment, the Holy Spirit led me to another knob that I didn't notice before. And he asked me to push, turn the knob. And I kept turning the knob and I, the paper moved, which was great. So it kept moving and moving. And, um, and then she said, the paper's getting jammed. And, I, and the Holy Spirit said, no, just keep doing it. And I kept doing it, doing it till we got one other end of the paper. And using that end, we managed to get that whole paper out without a tear. And, I, and as soon as we did that, I started thanking and praising God in front of us. I said, thank you, Lord Jesus, thank you. I said, and I told her um, that our ways don't always work perfectly, but when we ask God for help, nothing's impossible. You cannot do anything without God's help. And I pray that this Bible lesson that she learned at work, she never forgets that nothing's impossible for God. And there's a third testament that happened a, a couple of, so yesterday it happened actually. Um, one of my clients, um, another uh, a client at work, who all once told me that, uh, no, last month actually, she told me that I want what you have. You're always so positive, always so happy, so encouraging. I have so much troubles in my life. I told her, it does not mean I don't have troubles, but I have a God who is so amazing. He helps me to each of them, so I don't have to worry and I'm at peace all the time. So she said, I need that peace. I told her about, the, about reading the Bible. She said, I'm not into reading spiritual stuff. I don't believe or know anything about God. I prayed for her that night, but I also wanted her to learn more about our wonderful God. Um, and, I, and I was hoping that she would start reading the Bible. So I kept the Bible aside for her. But last week, uh, I happened to go, go to a religious book stall and the Holy Spirit led me to a book and said, give this to the lady. And it said, international, uh, New International Bible with daily reflections for women. So anyway, I, there had many sections in it and I didn't have time to read it. I just packed it and kept it at work so that I didn't forget to get, uh, give it to her. And she happened to come yesterday morning. So I gave her the book in the morning and in the evening, I got a call from her. And what she told me, gives all glory and thanks and praise to God and his Holy Spirit who guided me to give her that book. She said, I am not sure from where you found this book, but it's, it's so perfect for me. I can relate to it. I have never been into reading such books, but I can't seem to keep it down. I cannot thank you enough for getting this book for me. I'm already feeling so much better. So the word of God can actually fill us with so much peace even if our lives are filled with worries. Before joining the Brisbane prayer group, I thought I had enough faith and love for God that I needed to have. But after joining the prayer group and learning more and more about God and his promises through his word, I realized how little faith and love I have for my omnipotent God. Now I am so filled with the love of God and with that love comes faith and trust and belief. I realize that I'm now dead to the flesh and to all things of this world. I've become more alive in God, in the spirit, to Christ Jesus and to the Holy Spirit that lives in me. So I pray God's abundance, abundant grace and blessings on the ministry of the Brisbane Prayer Group, on all our group leaders who work tirelessly for the service of God, and their families, I pray for their families too. And all the members of our prayer group and our families, as yes. we all work together as one family for the glory of God. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lynette. Thank you for that wonderful testament. Thank you for standing up for the Lord and also bring more souls for Christ. Because that's the ministry that we all have. Remember one thing? Yes. Wherever, whichever ministry we are, whether you're a preacher, healer, 
or whatever you do, a musician or you know, praise and worship leader, if you do not bring souls for Christ, then if you do not bring Christ to somebody else's life, then that life is that life of laziness. And that's what we're going to learn today. A static yes. life is not, it's a very dangerous life because you are all about yourself. And that's why it's so dangerous to be that kind of Christian. So let's always remember to bring the joy of Christ to somebody's life. Maybe this teaching or wherever the Bible is being preached, you know, allow somebody else to come there. So someone's life will change. Thanks for that testimony. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless. Praise the Lord, Brother Vivek. Yes, you too. How are you? Praise the Lord. Yeah, all fine. Brother, I want to share with you today something different happened in my life for the first time. Tell me. After so many years, as I was being told by my brothers and many brothers and the religious brothers and sisters, you have to keep reciting the word of God on the rosary beads. There are 50 beads on the rosary. You have to keep reciting the word, as I told last time. But I was always neglecting it. I used to get, whenever I used to go to read it, I used to get angry. I used to feel boring. I used to avoid by making a plan to go out to the market. I used to get disturbed. I used to feel uneasy. And I used to feel very irritable to do it. But some days before, the Lord had changed my body and such in such a beautiful way today. One week passed, brother. When I read the word of God, I feel good, I feel happy, I feel joyful. I feel I'm eating something sweet and I'm just eating something sweet. I feel restless if I don't read the word. I feel strong and energetic. And even that before I used to spend my time talking with my friends, but I have realized today this body is calling me to say the word of God and avoid talking to friends more time. If I meet my friends, I should spend more time talking to them. But I, it is the, the Holy Spirit is balancing me to be with my family, to be with the word and to be with my friends. But the Holy Spirit takes me more to read the word of God. And I spend more time on reciting the word of God on the rosary beads. As much I can read the word, I read the word. And after that, I saw so many things happening in the house. As my son went to sleep at 2 o'clock in the night yesterday, we had a prayer service till 1 o'clock in the night. And in the morning, I thought he will not go to school. But I was surprised. He got up in the morning, he brushed his teeth, went to school, came from school, attended his tuitions, where I have seen first time a change in him. And the Holy Spirit told me, it is because you read the word. But brother, how this change came in me, as I read in Romans 12, 2, chapter, verse, chapter 12, verse 2, it says, I do not conform to this world, but I am transformed by renewing my mind. My mind is renewed by the word of God. And the second brother is that I had a very, I had a swelling on my leg. And the swelling started coming from down. It just reached near my knees. And the very moment I was worried how this swelling came on my leg. So quickly, it was so quick. And, and I said, I'll go to the doctor. I told my wife to call a doctor. It was about 10 o'clock in the night. The doctor said, I'm there till 10 30, you come. Somehow, some work came across and I couldn't go. I was crossed by 10 30. Suddenly, I said, If I couldn't go to the doctor, it is the Lord who is working in me. So the stop has come to the doctor. I just went and I said, And I thought, Holy Spirit of Jesus, if I have done anything wrong, if I have hurted anyone, if I had said anything to anyone down the line, I grant, I ask forgiveness in the name of Jesus. Let this swelling go out because sickness, he, unforgiveness or hatred brings sickness in us. And the Holy Spirit told me that you had, I had ordered dal from the restaurant and I had it filling stomach, had it so much that it caused acidity in my body and the swelling in my leg. The Holy Spirit said, it is because of that. In that very moment I said, oh my Jesus, I command this swelling right now to move out of my leg in the name of Jesus. And brother, I was so surprised to see 
instantly the swelling went and I, my legs were totally normal where i just couldn't believe i just said lord i thank you for this healing but a very important thing is healing is common but the very important thing is the word of god which is manifesting in my life today as you see healing is healing is very common but the word of god that i recite bring healing in the swelling of my legs and i praise and thank god for this healing and today the changes in my son and the body language of mind the holy spirit working and speaking to me and calling me come to see a prayer come to see and the third one brother i want to tell is and i was traveling with my car to one of my sister-in-law's place there was a birthday party on the highway i was traveling and i i, I happened to dash another car I was just such a touch for another car and the car got scratched and that for people on the the person in the class was arguing with me very harshly he said i want 5000 rupees you have dashed my car and my wife was saying hallelujah hallelujah and i was just whispering jesus jesus i told him i can give you 1000 rupees that work is not much he said no i want 5000 and he was not listening to me at all and so uh, somehow I, my license was there i told him take my license and go he took my license and went because i gave my license because my license was old i had a, i was going to get a new license it was expired also expiry means it was just there for one two days but after he went i came home and i saw the car which i was driving brother had not a single scratch on it but when i touched that car that car got scratched but the car which i was driving had not a dot of a scratch on that car and i didn't pay him any money i the lord saved me from paying i told him the scratch is just costing up to 3 or 500 rupees but the lord had different plan for me so i praise and thank jesus for this all the blessings that he is giving and involved in my life i thank you jesus i praise you lord brother vivek and the, the word jesus. of god that is transforming my life and i keep i spend more time with the word thank oh, you father yeah. thank i you. hope you are praying for all of us huh? you did every morning yeah, when you get yeah. up the first thing lift up the brisbane yeah. prayer group lift up yeah. everyone yeah. all in all who are leading different groups wherever in the world you know all the preachers yeah. which of a part of the world the pastors and all the people of this prayer group the priests the the church leaders everyone you know and lift up the you know put the precious blood of jesus upon everyone brother even i pray for you know melba brother from they say my cousin yeah yeah her father died but he was the man who used to take me and give the word of god i pray for his soul also i said lord i thank you for all these people whom you brought in my life who have brought me to the word i pray for each and every person who have involved in my life in the lord and appointed all the prayer groups over the world wherever they are all the religious brothers and sisters preaching the word also brother the first morning i take the blood of jesus upon my family and upon the whole world and yes. then i proceed with the word of god but i brother i'm very happy today to know that jesus is so much in me the moment i start praying in the morning i be in tears brother mm-hmm. because the presence of the lord is so much strong and today morning i could feel the have the father jesus and holy spirit just beside me amen i could you feel mother me just standing by me and telling me yes we are here amen i could see Praise the army god. of god just beside me yes brother i could feel today thank you lord jesus thank you lord the lord is uh, coming more and more in me he has a big plan for me i think i don't know but i could feel so much the presence of god i could just see jesus and the holy father mother mary the holy spirit telling yeah we are with you don't worry we are with you we are here right now i praise and thank god for this yes thank and you dear praise god yeah i feel that whatever today the worldly things i was so attracted to but the word of god has brought the joy of the lord is so much that the world cannot give amen amen thank you thank you jesus thank you for newton God bless your ministry you can bring Christ to everyone's life okay yes. remember that do not keep jesus with you give it and share him with others okay yes okay and remember to make the prayers strong prayers of faith because remember your prayer will always be an answered prayer because you understand god's word that is yes. what we need just the truth because the truth will set us free amen so if anyone is sick and asks you to pray just make a prayer you they'll get healed instantly for everyone on this prayer group in fact you do not need to come to brother vivek or brother russell and say you know pray for me pray for me you have to do this just make prayers in faith and see how things change 
So praise God. Thank you, Newton. Thanks for the testimony. Thank you, Thank you. Brother Vivek, this is Ernie. I just like to thank um, the Lord for the everyday word that keep, we keep hearing the um, Romans uh, 10, 10, 10, 10, 17, uh, by uh, hearing the word of God um, all the time and keeping the faith alive. And as you say, like sometimes when you can't sleep at night, even the early hours, hours in the morning, I, yes. I sometimes recite some, um, you know, in anything that comes to my mind, um, but uh, I, I believe that the Holy Spirit tries, um, tries to put in there. It could be anything. I can't sort of like really think, but then it just comes. So I just say it, the Hail Marys, and I just keep saying over and over again to all, of course, to the people who cannot pray or people who don't, don't know God and and then it just brings all these memories of what um, Russell teaches us and all that, and, and, and all that, and um, and all the people who don't believe in God, how we live in in peace with them, and, and how he keeps everyone, even the the Christians, non Christians, and his enemies. He keeps his, his love is so great. His great his grace um, overlooks all types of. Um, bias and prejudice and stuff like that. He keeps feeding us every day. He brings down the rain and he just, you know, he gives us good rain all the time to fill up our dams and um, gives water to the earth and lets all our food grow. Yes. He just keeps on supplying this in abundance. So it's good to, um, the Holy Spirit keeps our feeding me with all kinds of stuff and I'm starting to, you know, uh, you know, Sometimes you don't know why, why you can't sleep and stuff like that. Like you haven't been, I haven't been so like really worrying about things, but sometimes you just find it hard. Then you sometimes wonder why you're not sleeping. So you just take that off your mind and start praying, praying about anything about the, the uh, Holy Spirit. And is when you start praying, it's uh, I believe that the Holy Spirit is activated to the, to, to the name of uh, yes, Jesus yes. and stuff like that. And it just goes all, it just transcends all my answered prayers throughout the uh, day. And I'm, I, all of a sudden my spirits and that start to get relaxed and much more alive and um, uh, much more cheery and gives joy instead of um, uh, being tired. And that, it makes a difference because usually in the past I've been doing that, um, just thinking about the problems and somehow you don't uh, haven't been uh, kind of uh, active enough to sort of recognize you know when you're into your thinking all sorts of thoughts and other other than you know praying and stuff like that so the power of prayer activates the holy spirit to and it's good to make or be that kind of um participant with all the people all over the world as the lord our god joins prayer uh, my prayers with them and it just goes yes. to all those people, you know, all the dark corners of the earth and stuff like that, the places where we uh, don't go to, it just reaches them. And the word of God is, you know, really alive and active. So it's very, um, gives you all sorts of dimensions and stuff as I grow in the word and listening to all the testimonies and how he works with all different types of the these individuals that are on this prayer group, it, it's amazing. So it gives me an idea sometimes what to do in their similar situations and stuff like that. So he keeps working in the, but being praying all the time, I believe that he's, he's already answered all the prayers and I don't have to, well, so far I face a lot of adversities and that he gave me, it gives me so much peace. And I just look forward all the time to um, the Brisbane yes, yes, prayer group yes. in my uh, even uh, in during my time during the days and stuff like that even when I go out it could be that the 
sometimes uh, even shopping and 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 anything that doesn't have the the um, pray to God, I still have these. Uh, I say to myself all these uh, word of the word of God that we have. I confess boldly because it's it was so like now it's become sort of like a natural part of my uh, everyday uh, life. And you know, it doesn't have to be going to church. It's just you can be going anywhere and just say that it just seems to be clearing up everything. Yes. All the angels and destiny helpers are all sort of like doing their work and stuff like that. It is so easy, and you get it from the great creator, our maker, all the time, and it's for free, and it's supposed to be, you know, I'm so grateful for that um, God's called me to um, to call us to yeah, witness his grace and abundance and the blood of Jesus all over us, the Brisbane prayer group, um, prayer group and the ones that we think of every time, we can just say pray out to them and the Holy Spirit is activated and um, God is ready to watch and perform his word to perform it um, you know for the rest of our lives and it's, I'm blessed to have that kind of um, anointing upon me from our faithful God and I thank you Jesus thank you Father and I thank you Brisbane Perkins Father Vic and everything all the Russell and all the people in the Brisbane prayer group and everyone all over the world that uh, spread the good news of the gospel. Thank, thank you, Lord. thank you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hello, brother. Yeah, Janet. Yeah, great. Thank you, Jesus. Last Friday, I was unable to talk that well. And today I could speak with confidence that, that I am completely healed. According to Isaiah 53.5. I have few incidents. I, I, I apologize, not incident. I have some opportunity to talk to people at work and there was uh, one of my colleagues was saying that um, his mother-in-law and father-in-law are coming mm -hmm. to his house and um, and um, there's always a fight in the house when they come as they travel that they couldn't um, have peace within themselves they have to book two different hotel rooms to sleep. So I was very surprised um, his wife's parents are to that level, they are separated. So I send him the verse. I said, I'll send you the verse and I want him to keep repeating the word. But man, what God has put together, no man shall separate. According to Mark, um, so um, I wanted to thank the Lord that um, when I send a text to someone, my mind is always, I have the mind of Christ, so I'm always connecting something with God. When I speak, I'm talking about God. When somebody sees me, that they have smile in their face and then they ask, they say that, am I a Christian? You know, these are the stamp that, that is as if it's a stamp that is placed in my forehead and I praise Lord. I also wanted to thank the Lord that uh, he's, uh, we, according to Mark 16, 15, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. So I, I am thirsting for it. And this is amazing that the little things that I do that can't change into big things. I also wanted to thank God for this um, faithful group and they are 
strong foundation that rooted in the word and their humility and humbleness and their faithful prayer dedication i would say it over and over that um, this young group of people are from brisbane is like they have some gift of prophetic and uh, god is blessing them and continue to bless them i also wanted to thank the lord for the great uh, music uh, ministry that really touches me personally and for the beautiful voice of um thank you lord praise you thank lord you, thank you thank you janet all glory to our lord jesus christ because he is the one who blesses us we are nothing is the holy spirit brisbane prayer group he does everything that's Amen. it i admire your faith though every time i think of you if i have been in a prayer meeting without been awake i know it's around 4 o'clock in the morning there your time yes 420 yes and also another thing is yes, <laughs> when the time got changed i was completely we uh, my my 4 o'clock became 3 o'clock so there are time that i missed and i was so disappointed but i praise the lord for this media this uh, opportunity that we can listen over and over praise and i i can't thank god enough for that and um, as everybody know this uh, new virus that uh, Om- omicron or something like that mm. it's uh, fearing many people but um, i'm giving them the strength to talk to them fear not what what can we do you know we yeah. do our best and then if if this is the time for us to go then we are that is what we all are earning for and we are, we want to be with jesus so we just have to be fear free yes and nothing belongs to fear that is something god so exactly. give them to, to timothy 17 God has not given me Amen. a spirit of fear but a power love and sound mind. Power love sound mind. Okay. Thank you Jesus. So that's what and the Thank spirit of death is not the the spirit that God has given you or anyone it's a demonic spirit okay. So some spirit yes. who comes and say you want to die you'll take you. There's a spirit of death okay so that's why we have a scripture Psalm 118 17 I will not die it is written I will not die but live and proclaim what the Lord has done for me. So let Amen. his favor be upon me. so my life is god's grace and his blessing on me let his plan be fulfilled in my life so i always speak his word i do not speak in alignment with the thoughts because the thoughts are not from god sometimes it's a demonic thought that comes okay so we got to break okay. it with the, with the with the word of god okay yes thank you jesus thank, thank you for thank your you, service jesus. thank you god bless you for your for all this group and for they are, they are fulfilled with financially good health and wealth in the mighty name amen. of jesus amen amen thank you thank you sis yeah anyone else would like to share even if the lord has touched you the holy spirit is talking to you share some experience with the brother holy spirit and you how wonderful is your interaction with the holy spirit brother vivek can i speak i'm cedric yes cedric good hi uh, this bible teaching on which was that is so much telling you also i'm having those ones as it is just when you spoke and uh, i think there was some mess that that not you see when i let me tell you my and it comes from center so that on the other side is proper and i can and i picked up two tetra packs big big packs and i went and the uh, merchandiser was bit unhappy because i picked up from the is it can't you pick from the side now i'll tell you one thing if i was not in the word of god if the spirit was not in me i would have really got angry and given him some lecture or said what is this custom somehow i i asked him he said 
could not you pick up? I, I kept quiet. I took the two tetra back and I went to the vegetable section. But something told me in the spirit of mine, no, go back, do something right. So what I did is I went back and I took two ex other tetra packs from each uh, trolley and put it in the center where the, I had picked up. And I said, don't worry. I'll... So that time he said, no, no, sir, it's okay. So okay. I said, no. And this thing, what drive me to do was only the spirit. Otherwise, I would have never done. I would have said, forget it is his job. Somehow I felt, no, I should now learn to love others and also not blast on others or give any, this. just be good, kind. And I only feel that when you're kind, they will also become kind or whatever. This, is, this has been now coming into me by hearing this through your Bible study and the other groups. So praise the Lord. Thank you very much for this small little bit of my testimony. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Sadiq, for that testimony. Thank you. Brother, this is Caroline here. Yeah, Caroline. I have a test. Yeah, uh, I have a testimony. In fact, a lot of testimonies. And uh, my life is really changing uh, with the presence of God in my life very closely. Uh, I'll be very honest with you, brother. I don't read the Bible uh, because I, I don't know. I, I, I just don't read the Bible. Something or the other comes up my way and I land up reading hardly one or two verses. But one thing that I dedicatedly do is I take Christ with me wherever I go. I just uh, offer everything to him, uh, whatever I do in this entire week. So my, my husband and my daughter traveled all the way to Mangalore and I was uh, alone with my son and also my work from home had started. So I was uh, managing basically with my mother's help. And uh, I have realized one thing that even when we just thank God, and ask him to take control of our lives at every minute that, you know, the entire thing changes and our life becomes a blessing on its own. I realize that even without reading the Bible, I can see God working so closely. And sometimes I feel if I would take him even closer in my life, how much uh, could he work? So uh, this week I lost my gold, uh, gold earring in the toilet. I mean, uh, sorry, in the bathroom when I was uh, bathing. And unfortunately, my drainage was open. So that, uh, so you know, when I was taking bath, the earring fell down. And I was very upset because that was the earring my uh, parents gave me before marriage. And then I was uh, searching. I put my hand literally in the drainage, but I was not able to find the gold uh, earring. And then I called up my husband and, and I told him that, you know, I think we, I have lost it. So he said, search properly in the house. And I searched the entire house. It was not there. And then I remembered that, you know, let's praise and thank God anyways. And uh, with the little faith that I have, I was not doing it very willingly. I praised, I thank God. I had dinner and I came and I just saw it was below my uh, wardrobe. So I realized that even if I was not thanking him so much, we still have a faithful God and he provided me with that. Uh, I mean, what I realized is, brother, that God's grace is so much. How much ever we thank him is not enough. And tomorrow I have a client meeting and I know that, you know, the money is already in my uh, pocket. And I thank God that he's always been faithful to us, even when we least expect it. So uh, thank you, brother, for this teaching that you keep giving. So in this entire one year, I have just learned two main things is have a vision, thank God for it and thank God irrespective, no matter what happens to you, even in trials and troubles. So these two things I have dedicatedly done from the time I have joined this uh, group and I can already see my life change. So, uh, so praise God. And I thank you for everything. Uh, this prayer group has done to strengthen our faith. Well, my you, only brother. thing is, uh, I want you to spend time with God's word, okay? Do not say that I don't have time. Because I'll tell you one thing, Caroline. Uh, all these material things, you know, if you lose your health, you'll find it. If you lose something, you'll find it, okay? If you lose relationships, you'll find it. But one is the intimacy with Christ, okay? That yeah. can only come through God's word. 
and i'll tell you one thing when you grow deeper the holy spirit is the one who lives inside okay our spirit he is building a temple kaaram okay now that yeah. temple cannot be built without scripture scripture is the foundation for building that temple imagine you have someone who loves you without any condition okay no human being on this planet earth can love you without any condition okay but that's unconditional love that's agape love yeah. now the agape love which someone wants to love you so much cannot happen when your spirit is not strong in god's word okay god's word is the food for your spirit are you getting me yeah 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 just just That's as we have food for our body and for the mind you have to read books and you know we study and do whatever the same way our spirit is fed with god's word okay prayer is a part of our life it's a communication between us and god you can only move the mountain through prayer but without reading god's word you're not allowing the spirit in you to get alive you know to get that very temple built up you know the holy spirit prays 24/7 okay in yeah. using using the scripture that we have now when you feed that scripture and you start you know like a cow how we choose the scripture when you take that scripture yeah. and allow it to come in not just from the i confess boldly which we have but just in anything lord what are you trying to teach me today from this scripture what is it that you're trying to teach me i take a notebook and try to write it down or just make notes on my bible and 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 try to meditate on that scripture go on and on and let that scripture become a part of me caroline there'll be a time in your life when holy spirit mm-hmm. will give you that very scripture in a situation and you'll use it mm-hmm. for a situation so holy spirit can only use what you give him are you getting yeah. me so yeah. you cannot say i come to bible study every few every friday mm-hmm. so whatever i get there that is all i have so i'm saying is the relationship is not just on this earth we have a much greater life there behind us the eternal life okay mm-hmm. so eternity is a very big you know thing that we look into that was our last teaching so unless and until you make time for the lord you are first lord everything comes second you come first then what money in your pocket you'll have all sorts of blessings first seek him and his kingdom and his righteousness yeah. and everything shall be added unto you so you know when i was praying the other day i was wondering what do i pray for should i pray for sales should i pray for this that then the holy spirit said pray for jesus because once i have jesus in my life i have everything you know we have that him we have everything when we have christ yes you know yes. so yeah. you have everything when you have christ so christ is the word of god jesus is the living word okay so carol yes, carol and my only advice to you is to make time let him be first everything will fall in place remember what i'm saying okay yeah, yeah do not yeah. just read the bible because this is something that you need to do do it because you love the lord and you'll feel his presence i'm telling you okay like i'll pray i'll keep you. praying for you don't worry every day in my prayers sure. i'll pray for you okay and let sure. me know how you go can okay? whatsapp okay thank you carol sure sure brother thank you yeah thanks anyone else who would like to share what the lord is doing for you in your life how, what's the holy spirit doing to you has your prayer life changed because of the brisbane prayer group or you know just because you started to really realize that the word of god is touching you it is no more the same like a story book the word is really alive and active you can really stand for it then you testify that that word is really changing your life i i look more for a spiritual side testimony which is so powerful because that is what we need we need christ as a relationship anyone else would like to share and give glory to god Hello, brother Vivek. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I just want to share that uh, I can actually see the Lord working in my life by sending destiny helpers. One thing that has changed is I have started uh, dedicating my time for the morning and the night prayer. In fact, I was gifted this book uh, by a friend from Divine Porta. My father Augustine has written this book, and I think it came to me at perf- in the perfect time because I was struggling with the dedicated. with uh, you know with uh, disciplining myself in regard to a morning prayer night prayer 
So this book is uh, helped me because it's got a lot of scripture, Psalms. So that is one thing which has uh, kept me going. And also I can see uh, the word of God uh, getting active in my life. I can see, uh, you know, like, for example, sometimes we tend to be in our comfort zones, right? But I can see yes. that the Lord pushing me to do his work. And I am just uh, amazed and in awe. And I just want to say thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Thank and you, uh, yes, thank you to uh, Brisbane Prayer Group. Thank you to you and your team. You all are really doing marvelous work with the power of the Holy Spirit. So I really feel blessed and privileged to be part of this group. All, all glory to our Lord All Jesus. glory to God, yes. Because he is the one thank who you, does it. Okay? Yes, thank you. yes. Thank, thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Yes, anyone else before we start one last testimony, then we should start because there's a lot to cover today. Anyone feels truly blessed to be part of this Brisbane prayer group? I mean, the Holy Spirit prayer, Brisbane prayer group, really truly blessed. You could see such a wonderful change. Hallelujah, in your brother. Praise yes, God. hallelujah, brother. I feel blessed. And thank you. Thank you for all the prayers and the blessings. And thank you, Lord, for abundant life and the favor of the Lord upon me and my household. Thank you, brother. Thank you, everybody. Thank, thank you. Thank you, Vandana. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hi, Vivek. This is Vanisha. Yeah, Vanisha. Hi. I'd like to tell you that, um, yes, I am privileged and I'm blessed. And this was an asking from God. Uh, it was like two, three years ago when, um, of course, I was busy with my career and you know what I do. And it's, it was a day and night. And um, with God coming in and out of our lives, it, it, doesn't, it doesn't give us time too much to get spiritual or too much into, and you're always into work. So there came a time, maybe two, three years ago, when suddenly I just sat up and just thought to myself that, you know, I'm done and uh, I would like to chill and I'd like to relax and I'd like to spend more time with the Lord and I'd like to be a, a level that is a little bit above what I already have. And I'd like to meet people from his kingdom and the right people in my life so that I can know more and learn more. Learning is always a process. And as I told you, um, now it was like, it's been like two years and a lot of changes have taken place in my professional life. And last year I got a one-on-one -on -one with the Lord as in a total one-on-one -on -one without I thought I would go to Pota for a retreat and things like that, but that didn't happen. And um, I had COVID and I had a one-on-one -on -one with God for 17 days. That was, uh, that was the start of it. Then I met people from his kingdom. A lot of random people from all over the world came, you know, meeting me or somebody recommended me or, you know, why don't you meet her or because of a job or because of something. And they happen to be people of the kingdom of God. And this year in August, of course, I connected with Brisbane Prayer Group. And I was happy to connect with you, though we were on Facebook for a really long time. But I was, but I'm very honored and very committed to this group right now. And I was seeking a good group where I could, you know, be diligent and have somebody who would guide me and also I could learn a lot on prayer and this group has helped me a lot and I know step by step things are working and I'm getting closer though I may not be a hundred percent but I'm grateful to God that I'm with this group. Praise God. All glory to God. Uh, Vanisha, yes, yes. Up. All glory to God but uh, you, but I'm uh, but I'm grateful. Thank you. Thank you so much for that testimony. I'm so happy Thanks. that you stood up to testify for the Lord. Yeah. Yes. 